What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as we have been doing for a long, long time, we're going to open up the mailbox and see how much gold I made in Transmog on my main realm. And we're going to answer questions asked from you guys in last week's episode. So if any of you guys got any questions whatsoever for me, uh, leave them down in the comment section down below and I will pick uh, the most uh, the most upvoted comments or questions in the comment section. So before we go ahead and we answer the, uh, the questions, we're going to take a look at the mailbox. 177 auctions uh, this week. 200,000 gold in the first 50 auctions. Uh, I'm only gonna mention the items worth mentioning, like the Black Tabby Cat sold on the Transmog tune. I have no clue why, but it made itself in there. Sold the Dark Iron Boots for 21k, crafted with blacksmithing. And 75k, I actually sold two replica items that I've had for ages. It's about time uh, they sold, it's from Dark Moon Fair. And style and purple hat, 10k. They used to sell for like 25,000 gold all the time in the old days, but uh, not anymore. Blood tusk shoulder pads from Island of Thunder, farmed transport in a five man group. So, uh, I mean, obviously there's 50 auctions right here, but there's no point in mentioning the uh, old minor shitty transport, yeah, like a uh, transport for 17 gold, 46 gold. Like, I, I sell ab absolutely everything, everything sells in the end. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much gold we made uh, this week. And you guys could keep in mind that when I did insane amount of undercuts, when I undercut cut it like constantly, uh, I made like probably three times the amount of gold that I do now. And now I post it on the auction house and it just sits on the auction house. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, I say this every single video. Um, but that's just uh, to give you guys like a, a pinpoint. Like you can definitely make more gold than this if you have my uh, like the list of items that I have. As long as you pay attention to the auction house. Blood Tusk once again, 10k. Laystone Crafter Blacksmithing uh, Night Sky Cowl, 10k. Actually a couple of decent items on this one. And these, yeah, like the Time Warren. All of these items are from the Island of Thunder actually. That's really, really good. So the schematic uh, from Nomer for 24k, that's interesting. Black Dragon Scale crafted, Dreamweave West crafted, 15k. Uh, and 182,000 gold on that clean out. And we still have uh, a decent amount of auctions left. This might actually end up being a, an okay clean out after all. And I do, uh, I do sell items uh, on other bank tunes as well. Like I have one for battle pets. That's supposed to be battle pets. No clue why. There's a black type on this one. It's like black. It's like uh, battle pets and materials and class specific items and pretty much everything that is in Transmog gets posted on uh, my other bank. And I always have two banks on every single realm that I play on. So let me see next clean out. Come on, game. There we go. Only 73k, and even some crafted items hiding in between the auctions. I hate it when that happens, because these should have been up on the auction house by now. Shit. Uh, is there anything interesting? Even more time-worn from Island of Thunder. Really, really good. 20k for that one. And then it's just a bunch of shitty items. Only 73,000 gold, though, on that one. That's definitely not optimal. Definitely not so optimal. Come on. But hopefully we're gonna reach 500k at least. Yeah, 467. It really depends on what's on the uh, the last few auctions. This is so slow. Holy shit. Need a new computer. There we go. 27 auctions sold, 40,000. Yeah, we did actually, uh, we did make it to 500k. Nothing worth mentioning though on this one. It's like some Serenite, Ornate, uh, crafted. A lot of mostly crafted items in this one. Not that many uh, farmed or transport. And there was a question about that this week, so uh, we'll get to that one. But yeah, like roughly half a million gold, 500k on Transmog with absolutely no uh, reposting. When I say no reposting, I mean like uh, no cancel scans. 
for undercut scan so that's i'm really happy with that one so moving over to the questions that you guys have asked me question number one how many transform items do you think you have on the auction at all times do you think being on eu affects the uh, number of sales you have uh i have like on my main bank this one for transmog i have anywhere between 1800 to 2000 transfer items up at all times so uh, like constantly I, I don't dip below 1700 so usually like 18 to 2k items on this one constantly restocking and uh, being an eu affects the uh, number of sales not necessarily like it depends on what realm you play on on the us it's not like it's way easier to make gold in eu but naturally like there's more people on uh on the hype up eu realms but like if you play in a high pop US realm, it shouldn't be that much different for like in terms of number of sales. Like the value of the item might be different, but the number of sales shouldn't be any different from a high pop uh, US to a high pop EU. And question number two: Do you have a limit of repost for items, or do you just repost until it sells? And uh, I've been asked this question uh, a lot of times, and pretty much I try to determine if the item is good enough that it will ever sell before i put it up on the auction house and i uh, i personally think i do a really good job at that because i never i never ever stop and be like okay these items haven't sold i'm just vendor these items i've never done that like everything will sell in the end so i just try to go, do a, like a good job on deciding what items is worth putting up on the auction house and which ones should be vendor right up the bat next question um from sorlandosa Hello student, what do you recommend in case I want to earn around 600k in a month? I have a level 120 druid, also have max level letterworking inscription. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you if you can help me in some way and also making videos the quality, uh, this quality is in so long. I play in hype up server Arch and Dawn. That's funny, that's my realm. That's the realm that I uh, just uh, took out 500k in the mail box in a week on Transmogs. So that's one thing that you could do but you're going to be competing uh, with a lot of big boys you're going to have to invest a shit ton of time to get to the point where you have like roughly 2000 auctions you're going to need multiple uh multiple classes uh, with different professions on you have letterworking description not optimal if i were you and i wanted to make 600k in a month let's just say 200k uh, a week you can make 200k a week guaranteed by simply doing like gathering professions but if it was me if it was me if i had to make 600k a month steady i would just go ahead and i would do two times four bfa farms it's so steady just go into the uh the custom groups and uh, search for two times four just sign up for two times four like get the raw gold that you get so you get green items scrap them disenchant them sell them in trade chat the cloth put it on the auction house and uh, if you're lucky enough, you're going to get mounts and epics and it's going to quickly turn into 600k in a month with no problem whatsoever. Shouldn't be any problem, I can guarantee you. If you just go ahead and you do it a couple times a week, uh, you're easily going to make 600k. I don't do it because I think it's really, really boring. So it's all up to you if you can't be ours to do it. But I would definitely uh, try it out if you haven't already. Question number four, what items do you recommend to use slash equip to do gold farming more efficiently? I don't really use that many items uh, or like, well, items, equipment right now when I gold farm. The only item that you guys should definitely uh, have, like most of us play druids or rogues or whatever, like leather. So you should definitely try and get the, the sentinels, right? So the Sentinel's Eternal Refugee, I believe. Well, yeah, there you have them, like these. They will basically, they will give you a steady 25% movement speed, uh, even while being indoors. Uh, so it's they're really, really good. And then you put a, the gem in them for an additional 3% movement speed. So that's 28%. And then you can just go ahead and you can invest in speed items if you want to. But I personally only use these boots and then bear to tar the food buff but there's so many sick ways that you can build up a speed set these days but i haven't done it myself like the boots and bear to tar is all i need so uh the last question how important is having transport from crafting on the auction house uh 
Well, it really depends on how much gold you want to make. If you want to optimize it and you want to make a shit ton of gold, you need to have crafting, you need to do all the professions. Uh, like, it's a, a lot of people get stuck when they reach like seven, eight, nine hundred auctions uh, around that mark because they feel like they're just getting duplicate items whenever they go and do transport farming. So the easiest way to get like to reach the next level is simply by getting tailoring, engineering, blacksmithing, leatherworking and start pumping out every single item that will give you a profit and you're easily going to reach 2k auctions on the auction house. So I'm going to say that uh, a lot of people hesitate on starting with Crafted Transmog. It used to be way better than what it currently is right now. Like the, some of the prices is a joke, to be honest. Uh, I used to make so much more gold, but it's still viable. So if I were you guys, I would definitely pick up uh, crafting professions and start learning how it works. I'm also going to make a video on how I do uh, how I do a transmo crafting. Uh, so you guys can uh, get a look and see how I do it. It's really, really easy, it really is, especially the uh, the casual way that I do it. And so uh, look forward to that video, my friend. But yes, you should do it. And uh, that is pretty much it for today's video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys got any questions, as I said, comment section, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.